I'm about to blow your mind, Will. Did you ever wonder what the world looks like for, for your little pet Otis there? I'm sure you did. You yeah, imagined what life, what life looks like to Otis. It's not as good as life looks to you. No? No. Oh. Scroll down. Scroll down. That's what life looks like to Otis. <laughs> That's what he's looking at right now? No, I'm kidding. This is a... I, be, I can't believe I'm saying it, but uh, this is a cool... The Daily Mail did a cool little article with a slider you can use to see how different animals see the world compared to humans. Uh, that's actually a snake that oh. sees a snake can see some snakes can see in infrared. So that's what things look like to a snake. But if you scroll the article, you'll see what uh, the world looks like to a dog. The world looks like to a cat. The world looks like to a fish. But you okay. got to go to the actual yeah. article. Yeah. So scroll down a little bit more. OK, first up, we have dog. All right. Now, dogs. They have only what was it? Twenty. 20 to 40% of the visual acuity of a human. So that's what you see in the room on the left. And that's how a dog sees. It looks like a low res. And it's definitely far more dim as far as colors are concerned. Uh, they have two types of cone cells tuned to blue and yellow. So they only see in combinations of those colors muted pastel-like shades. So it does not have the contrast that the human vision has. However... The dog has a wider field of view, 240 degrees. Hmm. So the dog's walking around wide angle lens style. So they're actually picking up more of the surroundings in one glance because huh. we got these flat heads with the eyes on the front. Yes. Ridiculous. Yeah, that's cool. The dog has the eyes placed a little differently. Yeah. It's seeing more spherical. Uh huh. The cat is very similar, muted. And not as wide as the dog. It might be surprising to you because cat, you look at a cat and you're just like, man, their vision, look, like look at their eyes. Mm -hmm. You thought it was real detailed, but actually, no, nah, they have some of the limitations that dogs have as well when it comes to color and contrast. Next, we have goldfish. And this is a real, totally different experience. Whoa. You know, the you, you ever heard of a fisheye lens? Mm -hmm. Well, that's some of what's happening there. It's almost a 360-degree field of view. but It's almost like double vision. It's a, but it looks terrifying. I mean, if I had to live the rest of my life with fish vision, it's it would like be rough. like acid. Rough. Very saturated. Parrot vision will blow your mind. It's a 300-degree coverage, and it has a trend towards sort of blues and blues and greens. Snake, I already showed you with the infrared vision. This one I like, Chameleon Sight, is an actual full 360. Have you ever seen their eye, how it moves around a little bit? Yeah. That's it right there. That's how a chameleon sees the situation. Chameleon's going to see you coming no matter where you're coming from with the 360. Evolved that way, probably can see the predators, change the color real quick. Chameleon, man. Huh. It's kind of fun. Last one is a tarantula. This one is if you're completely wasted. Tarantula is just drunk all the time because it's so blurry that kind of makes it funny when you know how people are so afraid of tarantulas if you only knew what tarantulas were actually seeing yeah like they, you have a pretty severe advantage now granted they have other senses with which they use to survive but it's like no color it is so blurry like you're wearing goggles that are completely uh screwed yeah. up what are the eight eyes for Got Is all these eight? eyes, and yeah. yeah. Yeah, they have yeah, a lot I of know. eyes. Maybe the, I think the eyes are decoys, and or I don't know what's going eyes, on. Yeah, China. Come on, Will, get together. Science show right here. 